All right, guys, so we're just wrapping up a five-day whirlwind tour of Belay, Durg, and Raipur. We had a great time visiting family, and we've got now starting our journey back home. We've got about 35 hours to go before we finally reach our home destination of Columbus, Ohio. We're gonna take you along with us to show you all the tips and tricks that we do throughout our journey to make the travel more enjoyable, and most importantly, more tolerable. So if you want to uh, check out how we travel, follow along and uh, hopefully you're able to pick up a couple of things that make your journeys a little better as well. So we're just leaving Bilai, we're heading to the airport now. The airport is in Raipur and the taxi journey is about almost an hour to get there so uh, we're our flight is at six right now we left a little bit ahead of time it's just after three o'clock what time what time it's about 3 30 now so um, we we'll, should have plenty of time at the airport we ended up booking a domestic flight separately from our itinerary so we have Raipur to Delhi and uh, then we have an we booked a separate international ticket from Delhi going all the way to Columbus and the reason we did that was because when I looked for flights all the way from Columbus to Raipur, Raipur is one of the smaller airports in India, uh, it was coming almost like $700 more expensive per ticket for essentially the same itinerary. So instead of that I split it into two and so now we have our first leg of the journey um, coming up here. just in uh, Raipur airport and we're gonna go to the ticket counter drop off our bags we're gonna unload a lot of our luggage but unfortunately we have to pick it up once we arrive in Delhi um, and then check it in all over again All right, so it's about uh, 9.15 now. Um, our ticketing counter for Air France opens in about 20 minutes. So we got a quick snack and then uh, we're gonna check in our bags to the Air France counter. And then we'll clear security and then we're heading to the lounge for, for some uh, relaxation before our flight. So we were able to check in at the Air France counter using our Sky Priority Lane. This allowed us to bypass a lot of the line for the baggage drop and check-in process which saved us a lot of time in the airport. So we just dropped our bags and um, unfortunately the lounges are closed here in the, the Delhi airport for some reason. They said there's uh, for security reasons today all the lounges are closed um, but they did provide us for a voucher so we're able to use that voucher and get credit and for food and and drinks so we're gonna pass through security and then we'll head to one of the restaurants here and spend a couple of hours there just chilling all right so we just checked into our flight we're sitting at the Irish pub we're gonna have a couple of pints and uh, burgers and pasta from Delhi, it was about an eight or nine hour flight to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. We had about a three hour layover and so we were able to make it to the Air France Lounge. Lounge access is so important, especially for international flights. And some of these international lounges have really the cream of the crop experiences. But before we go to the Air France Lounge, Mo had to do a little bit of shopping. We stopped at a variety of stores, but she finally decided 
on this nice scarf and so she was very happy with that purchase. Duty free shopping can be a very good deal especially if you target what items you're looking for and in which airports you're going to find them. So I recommend buying luxury fashion items in Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport because normally this Burberry scarf retails at about 520 US dollars plus tax and in Paris we were able to get it for about 400 euros. So overall a much much better deal than what we can find here in the States. So after we did our duty free shopping we ventured and finally found the Air France lounge. This lounge was absolutely pristine. It was filled with beautiful breakfast as well as a spa service and shower facilities. We were able to get into the lounge early and were able to secure reservations for the spa as well as the shower facilities. Again, I highly recommend taking flights and building status on one airline because this is the best way to enjoy the perks that come with status at some of these major airlines. In addition to the lovely lounging facilities, they offer a full hot breakfast as well as drinks, yogurt, fresh fruit, uh, and a variety of espresso drinks and pastries. After our relaxation time in the Air France lounge, it was finally time to board the flight to Detroit. It was about an eight hour flight from Paris to Detroit and we knew we were gonna land in the morning in Detroit. And so one of our goals was to try to catch some sleep on this flight. Usually when we have to catch some sleep, I always like to pack an, an eye mask as well as my noise canceling headphones and that really allows me to get a good sleep uninterrupted on the flights. And finally, after arriving in Detroit, we went to the Delta Lounge, had a nice breakfast and we're catching our final flight to our home airport of Columbus, Ohio. So that is all for this travel tips vlog. I hope you were able to learn a thing or two and I hope some of these tips are gonna make your next travel a little bit more enjoyable. Thanks and I will catch you later.